Now here is a pen that I've made using um, a photo of my oldest grandson and that came from the glass globs that you can get in uh, craft stores in their floral department or craft department. So I found the photo I wanted to use, the right size. Actually I'm going to get two pens from this. I took my one inch hole punch and as you can see I poked, punched two photos out and I can get another set for their mother if I go on and, and make the sets that I want to make. Here is the other picture that was cut out and you can see that the the uh, glass piece magnifies that photo to a certain extent. I had just bought this set of rhinestone looking trim. Didn't know what I was going to use it for, but here it is. The pen that's already made has a pen back. You can also use one of these um, tie tack sets. Those are nice. And you'll need some good uh, jewelry glue to hold the, the uh, pen pieces on. I found it tedious to attach the trim I wanted to on this. So I cut, as you can see, a piece of black foam. You can also use felt and I cut it just about an uh, eighth of an inch maybe larger around than the glass piece I took the trim that I just so happened picked up the other day and glued it all around and just let the, just let the glue dry and I'll have a matching pin. I can also put a ribbon on these to hang on a miniature Christmas tree, which is actually what I think I'm going to do for my own house here. Or I can use another pin back or use the tie tack. But I think they turned out really well. And it has kind of a 30s or 40s look jewelry piece. Those of you who do make jewelry can put a different um, pin on the back and maybe make a necklace out of it. But I'm pleased with the, the results and the way these turned out. You could also uh, glue individual beads around use whatever you have. And like I said, I didn't know why I was picking this up the other day, but evidently this is why. So happy crafting.